Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you're just tuning in, we're discussing royalties and contractual agreements in Nigeria. Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 So, um, before we went on a break, I was going to ask um, um, Demi, but I think I'll bring that question to to Jenny to, to ask um, Best, right? Yeah. yeah. So, you go ahead. <laughs> Hi, best. Okay, so um, it has been established that um, not all actors get um, royalties globally. So say um, this movement, I would like to call it a movement, is successful, and then um, the movie industry in Nigeria starts giving royalties to their actors. How do you determine which actor actually gets um, residual income? <laughs> okay, not... All actors get royalties, even overseas. Not all actors. Now, um, there are um, um, there are criteria for um, getting residuals, and one of such criteria would actually be the size of the brand of the actor. Now, you would have actually built your brand to a level where it would favor the studio a lot more to um, negotiate a back end deal than pay your actual worth. Now, some of the actors in the time being who have actually, you know, cashed in big time from residuals would be the likes of Tom Cruise, would be um, the likes of Jennifer Aniston. Actually, um, I don't know if you follow the series Friends. Yeah. Friends yeah. was um, an NBC television series produced by Warner Bros. Mm -hmm. um, I think sometime in 1994, and it ran for 10 years, 10 seasons to 2004. Now, what happened was um, because of the growth of the actors, the likes of Perry Matthews and co., um, they now had to negotiate a residual agreement such that even after the, the, um, the show ended, for every other platform that the show would be showcased, aside NBC, the actors get a 20% um, residual. Now, over time, as that, um, say some five years ago, it was recorded that Warner Bros. makes an estimated um, 20, um, an estimated 20 to $30 billion from friends every year. Now, 20% of that goes to each of the actors mm -hmm. now not all the actors only the key the actors. Lead character, yeah. character yeah the background actors do not get residuals they do not get residuals and like i earlier outlined residuals actually goes beyond just the <coughs> actors even the director is also a creative stakeholder in the project mm -hmm. the writers are creative stakeholders in the project so if the contract was drafted or fashioned in a way such, such that the um, writers and directors would be benef beneficiaries of residuals, they also do get residuals. But there is actually no um, one size fits all for this. It's usually subject to a contractual agreement, really. It's not a template. There are, there are, there are no templates to this. Yeah. And like I said, before you would even be able to get to that level where you want to gallantly and confidently negotiate procedurals with studios, you really would have built your brand to a level. It's not for all actors. It's not like um, the regular compensation. Let's not get it twisted. Mm -hmm. Okay, someone is asking, um, saying that has, has there been any contract, that's a um, contract that DME could not sign and he walked away from? that project. Then the person also says, okay, okay, this is Kelvin. He says, Nigeria labor law needs to be overhauled. Um, so I like the direction of the conversation. And I was really, really hoping to ask about the place of transparency, right? Um, so here, here's the thing, because we also know that there is a bit of shadiness when it comes to pr uh, pay negotiation. And this is even beyond Hollywood, even in companies. Somebody that is on the same level with you, you know, because they tell you not to disclose your, your pay <laughs> to the yeah. next person, right? There is this, you know, shadiness about pay and how much you are paying this person and all of that. Don't you think that um, if the producers and the filmmakers come up front with these actors to say, you know what, this is the exact amount that, for instance, Plus TV has taken this content and they're going to be airing it from us, 
would it not be easier, you know, to manage the expectations of that um, that actor or the the person or the musician or whatever? Would that not be easier? Yeah, that sounded quite easy. Assuming that there is a system that works that easy too in Nigeria, <laughs> but really there is none. Yeah. There is there because um, I would also want to think that when Gideon actually had his concern publicized, he was probably um, he had a couple of producers in mind because I would not think that he has every producer in mind because um, there is this thing with producers in Nigeria. Sometimes you're not even sure where your content is going. Sometimes you're not even sure how much you'd make from your content. You get because. Um, the platforms um, for sales, the, 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 the acquisition channels are not very defined. So when you have that to contend with, it is difficult to want to begin to actually um, have such back-end deals, really. It's easier to go ahead and have like a firm negotiation and deal. And you know that, okay, this risk in question is actually from me. If it goes all well, probably that's like the plus. If it does not, that probably would be um, the dividends of you know the business itself. It's just what it is, really. You get so if you have a system that cannot account for um, 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 what the, 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 the output, the outcome. How do you begin to now say, oh, you want to tell actor A or actor B, okay, this is how much we would make. Then when we make X amount of money, I will give you maybe a Y percentage or a Z percentage. Sadly, it does not work that way. Now, let me take you backwards a little, and I'm going to liken this to the music industry now, because um, it would also be very, very um, good to understand that um, what is being called for is noble, it's valid, but then and again, it's a process. This is not to say it will not happen. The film industry, the Nollywood film industry will get to that point where, of course, um, um, residuals, royalty would probably be a thing, but not yet. Um, some 15, 20 years back, the music industry was exactly where Nollywood is right now. Okay, so I think we're having a bit of um, okay, network I, challenge. I think... We'll try to reconnect with him. Uh, I was going to ask you, Lami, you are a lawyer, right? Because in terms of contracts, you know I say that contracts are not being upheld in this country. You sign a contract with someone. You've already agreed that this is the percentage of the pay that is coming to you. And the money comes, right? And the person is trying to be shady about it, right? So how do the legal system handle these cases that, first of all, makes it easy for you to be able to get justice in time? I think it is the delayed <coughs> I, that, justice. Thank you. That is the that issue. That is just the issue. Yes, the, because the, yeah. if I know that, okay, I just got a contract and they paid, let's say they paid 10 million and my percentage for that 10 million was supposed to be 30 percent. And this person is trying to boyc I mean, uh, should change me, right? It should not be a case of back and forth. I will so. not spend more money, you know, that I'm supposed to, the money that I don't have, I will not spend more money to be able to get my 30% share. I so understand. the delay in the justice system, the legal the system, so how do we even address it? That's, That's why I say that contractual <laughs> issues are big issues. Then another thing that I see is that from the Copyright Act, when I went through it, it basically supports the music system, mm. but doesn't support the final film the industry. Yes. Mm. So I think that they also need to push for laws that is more encompassing, that has to take care of the interests of the filmmakers. Mm. Then don't forget the issue of piracy is also a big issue. From what he was talking about, you are not even sure of the proceeds of the content. So how can you start negotiating with? Well, I was what I what what I had said. Sorry, was that you know. When the sale has already happened, so for instance, you're putting your product on Netflix. Okay. There's the, 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 the contract is there. This is how much we're making. It's simple, right? So I understand that part of That's piracy. I'm saying that at the initial stage, mm. performers, actors, they must negotiate hard. I think it's if you know you're easier, easier now, it's, Jennifer. It's, it's, yeah. it's easier now because a lot of content go to the cinemas. So you're able to tell, track. How much the... It's not even the how it's much. Not, it's it's percentage. Percentage. Do you you know, percentage. You know, you were saying... Yeah. Okay, you were saying that um, how people are being shady about how much they are getting. Now, let's say we are about to um, feature in a movie. Your negotiation power and my negotiation power are different. 
you might go there and then you negotiate for 500. And because I feel I can do better and I know that, oh, you will need me in this show, I will negotiate for 1 million. Mm. It's not the same. So you come out and then you hear from somewhere that they're paying me oh, 1 million and you're taking 500. Level. It's how you negotiated. Mm. That's it's what the I'm same thing. Yeah, the same thing stage. when you're applying for a job. It's the same thing. Same role, at different the initial pay. stage, they must negotiate. If you think you are a brand and that um, project won't go on without you, if you think you have something sellable, then you must I even negotiate. Think I was speaking hard. to someone recently because I had to do something for the person. And the person said that a lot of actors, they don't understand the business of acting. You understand? So ideally, they're just the talent. When you have been business selected side of it. to say, okay, you've gotten the role, mm. you are supposed to go with your um, what's it called, your negotiation agent mm. yeah. into that meeting. But that what? negotiation agent is not even a manager. It's not a. It's, a it's somebody that has seen you and knows the potential, and he knows how much you're worth. You well, know I the problem. I fear you of know employment. It is the fear of hunger. It is Thank the, so you. a lot of people are now that negotiator. Who are that negotiator is going to get paid. Of course, you lawyer will get paid. <laughs> From how much? From how much? <laughs> so the main problem we have in Nigeria yeah, eh? we don't is <laughs> poverty. Yes. Uwa, it is poverty. If the economy is booming, everybody will get a slice of it. I, as a lawyer, will get from it. Yeah. This, yeah. The entertainment industry in Nigeria, yes, they need lawyers, but how many of them can afford this? So you will hardly see any lawyer say, I'm an entertainment lawyer. I love entertainment side of law, but I thought about it. <laughs> How many of them will hire me? How much do they get paid? The only place that you can get, you know, a bit of money and advancement is the music industry. Mm -hmm. Because it's really protected under the Copyright Act. Absolutely. Yeah. I think they also need to push. Wow. So I think we've not been able to connect back. Well, let's take some comments on WhatsApp. Okay. Um, our guest, well, <laughs> Demi, is always on set. So <laughs> I'm sure he had to run back to go and film. Yeah, let's take, yeah. Jenny. Okay, so Sally said... Um, business is for money making. Lots of financials are there to make money, but most times you just have to negotiate better. If you did not negotiate at the beginning, you cannot expect a contract to be changed midway. And I agree. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I've been saying. So yeah. Angela says, this is not new. Mm. TLC, I don't know what TLC is. TLC never made any money while they were as big as they were. So many artists. The entertainment industry is a shock abroad too. We just have to know that before you sign a contract, get com competent lawyers to review. Mm -hmm. The lawyer will earn money too. Absolutely. That's the problem. And you as a you know, you as a creative, you look at it. If you're getting paid five hundred thousand a million for that role and the lawyer is negotiating for two hundred, just to look at contract <laughs> 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 no, But it's actually see, you know, I've always said to people that people don't I don't like have, paying for legal no, services. I do not have a problem paying a lawyer. As far as the lawyer is working for that money, <laughs> making sure that I'm getting you're the getting, contract. Yes. I'm saying that so, <laughs> I, I, I don't know many people like paying for it. So, it's not a service that they see. So this guy now broke it down. That You see, when people say, oh, I have a manager, I have a manager. That there are different roles for management. Mm. There's the manager that his role is just to make sure that you are doing well as an actor, yeah. training you and grooming you. He has no business getting you contract. He has no business getting That we lump all of these things together. together. Mm. Now, I was looking, you know, I was in a production with African Magic, right? And I know how much they were paying some people. Me, that I was a rookie. It was my first production ever. I told them, I said, an uncle. I've calculated the cost. If people are not going to pay me X, Y, Z, I'm sorry, I'm I cannot away. do it. away. I cannot do it because it doesn't pay me, right? I have looked at myself. I know how much I'm worth. I know I'm not, I've never acted before. It was my first role. But I still know what I'm worth, right? So I'm just you saying packaged you, yourself. even at that sense, you didn't I that. still believe that they <laughs> underpaid me. Do you understand my point? Mm -hmm. I believe they underpaid me because when you see some kind of production, you will know that this production actually is, is well-funded. Right. So also that shady part is what I do not get because a lot of times the 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 there's just there's just you know I want to find every means to take from everybody. Yeah. So most well, naturally, some of these producers, if they have the opportunity, they do take away from your income. Well, they do. Every of us have this element. <laughs> that shark <laughs> element is embedded it's in our DNA. Yeah. It's, it's exactly it's, it's business. Embedded. So it's people business. are trying to make money. And the thing is, as an actor or an artist, if you're not smart about it, the producer will not help you. you. He's not going to tell you, oh, you missed something in you this contract. This amount. It's what not I think business. Gideon is missing is he shouldn't have walked away. What he should have done, he should have tried to harness all of them to come together on that set 
to mm. come together with one voice and hold them hostage. I'm happy you that said that. That would have done a lot. But you see that part. You see why I don't protest? <laughs> I don't protest because <laughs> me and you will go and shout. We're not going to agree. We're not going to agree. The way it's fine. Me, we're <laughs> not <laughs> I have a sibling that is like that. That my, that my sister, that sister of mine, will plan something together uh -huh. to confront my dad with an issue. By the time we get there, she will say something. She will say something. So ah! that's why I'm going to do that. But you see, yeah. this thing you said, you, if you remember many years ago, when Omotola, Genevieve, yeah, they were RMD, blacklisted. They were blacklisted. Yes. They were banned from the movie industry. But you see, they stood their ground. And that is what everybody is benefiting from from today and you know the the tv series he mentioned friends i think at some point they also came together but they came together with one voice so that part that um dme said about having one voice i think that's why i said collective yes. bargaining power yes. that's it. sometimes yes. you can't go alone to yes. change, make a change yes you can't go alone they will get there what he's saying is valid maybe they might make fun of him now and other may might not see the essence of it but with time they will remember him for being the pioneer absolutely it, what he said is actually very very um important because if you if you actually remember the show he's talking about in as much as he didn't mention it i think we all know mm -hmm. the show he's talking about i think it's still airing yeah it's still yeah and that show has been far, there yeah. for a very long time so for someone who who was featured in a show like that and he was one of the key actors mm. okay let me quickly share a quick story because i um since you mentioned this my yeah. sister used to work in a bank right and this show that Gideon is on, most of their paychecks, you know, she used to, she was Cash the one them. in charge mm. of the paychecks. The, that was when they just started. Mm. And she was like, ah, 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 actors, they are collecting this amount of money. It was huge. The amount of money they were paid, they were being housed, they were, you know, they brought the Onimbo standard mm. of production. Maybe that's why it lasted. Wait, now make I finish the gist. They, <laughs> they brought the Oimbo standard of production into Nigeria. But when they got to Nigeria, mm. and the producer would say, ah, no, 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 it's too much. Even Waka Pass then, Waka Pass role. I'm Ooh. telling you Waka Pass. <laughs> Waka Pass was any word somebody that would do a full character now was, would end. So Nigerians mm. taught so, them. Yes. Yeah. So you see the, the, the volatility of Nigeria, you know, the, 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 the you know, I, I, you cannot grow where I am. Mm. That mindset, right, is what I think Gideon is trying to fight. And it is what we must all put our hands together to fight. Olamide, I don't know your journeys, right? I don't know Jennifer's journey. If something happens tomorrow and you're in a position to earn higher than me, why should I be the one to impede to your, your success? Yeah. That is, the, that is what I think is playing out in most of the industries, I right? Think as because Nigerians. when these people came, if you had seen their paychecks, they were being housed, there were so many pecs that came with that, you know. So that, gradually that, they true. All of a sudden, it was it just going down because it's, it's, it's Nigeria work. will tell you that, no, yeah. this is too much. You are oh. spoiling them. You are not, tomorrow now, they will not be able to call them to come and do some kind of roles. Mm, I saw true. a video from Zainab. I don't know if you know Zainab. Um, Zainab on, on Instagram, you know, she said that, she said 2021, it's, um, you know, TikTok video. She said 2021, all those who will tell you that, oh, the budget is low. She says, work up hard. Because it's the truth. <laughs> Every time you meet a producer, they will tell you that the, the budget the is, is low. Tight. They will never yeah. ever tell you that they mm. have money, mm. you know. They nobody, will tell you to bring your yeah, clothes. Nobody wants to tell they will you tell you to bring Maybe your Maybe at the stage you're building your brand, you need, yes. the, you need the experience. Yes. yes. But when you get to a certain stage. Well, you see, let you me tell you something, it. Lami. When, when you start like that, it's going to be very difficult because what they keep on doing is that every, for every time they call you, they continue to put you in that... You know that, when to stop. Uh -huh. So you have to decide. I, as, I as a lawyer, I've, it's I've not, done... It's not up to the directors or the producers. It's, it's up to you, you as yeah. an individual to I actually have taken fight, cases, fight for sorry, what you believe sorry. in. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry to quote you. I've taken cases that I didn't get anything for and i sweat it out mm. but because of the experience of that job i take it mm -hmm. but it now gets to a level i sit there and say okay i've gotten to this level i'm not taking peanuts anymore i'm sorry i've turned down clients which i've never done before i turned them down ah it's true Auntie, Auntie uh, <laughs> <laughs> i'll tell you to be waka jeje it's not by force it's not by force <laughs> but i think we should really really look into upholding contracts when you write certain things and we should pay attention let's get lawyers involved i mean 
Lami is here. I'm here. <laughs> let's hey, get lawyers involved. Hey, she will charge you small because of ways. She will charge you small money. <laughs> but let's get lawyers involved. I, I think we should just start hey. paying attention. Nigerians, let us let us be let us be happy to see other people grow. I think it's just that factor also that plays Very out. Very key. Yeah. Ooh, can I just Very one key. minute? One, one second. I think human capacity development is key to most of the problems we have as Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Go to Japan. What, their system of education, you know what they do? They don't start writing or doing anything in school until they're age seven or eight. Mm. What they focus on is the human development, yeah. capital de development. And what they do is they sweep, they, they teach, teach them this, so they teach them life things. skills yeah. and all that, which is lacking in Nigeria. Absolutely. Yeah. So most of our problems is dependent on we really? as Nigerians. Absolutely. I think we can wrap up on that. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you, Day and me, and thank you, um, Bess. Yes. We're so sorry the network had to, you know, disappear on us. <laughs> but please watch a repeat broadcast of this episode at 6 a.m. It's been a very insightful conversation. Keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms at, at um, Waste Show Africa 1 on, I, on Twitter and at Waste Show Africa on uh, IG and Facebook as we continue to hear what you're saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. It is not about, um, what's our quote again? Royalties are not how most writers or musicians make their living. Um, musicians, by and large, make a living with a relationship with an audience that is economically harnessed through performance and ticket sales. That's our quote. <laughs> well, when the ticket sales stops, what then happened? That's why I say I don't really agree with the quote. But we'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy your evening.